Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, on this video, we're going to explain why we've decided to do a Carnival Cruise again, again. after the horror story that we yes, had man. before. Because most of y'all would have been gone out of there. You would have yep. never did it again. Nope. <laughs> that was our sentiment as well. Until, Kill. let's get into it. Boom. Stanley's aunt came to me, right? And she was like, you know what, Nat? If you put on a cruise... I'm going to go on a cruise with you. I think that I want to dibble my toe, put my toe in the cruising world and see what that's all about. So, bet. I'm sitting there in my mind saying, she ain't going. Yep. And neither and am I. Yeah, we ain't going either. <laughs> so, there was never a chance in hell that we were thinking about ever trying to go cruising again. After that horror story, why would yeah, you, right? exactly. So, years that went by, she kept bringing it up. Thanksgiving's, Christmas, it would keep coming up. I love my Aunt Cookie and I'm like... If I were to ever just like bite the bullet and do it again, it would probably be for her. I said, bet. Let's just go ahead and plan the cruise. Call Carnival. Had a little block off. It's supposed to be me, Stanley, his mama, my mama, his Aunt Cookie, and her immediate family, right? Yeah. A good eight to ten of us, right? Right. From that eight <clears throat> to ten people, it went crazy, yo. Crazy, When I say it went crazy, we went from that to about 30, 35 people. Yeah. So with Carnival, right, even when you're not an agent, you can block off eight um, bookings to consider yourself an official group, group cruise. I ain't know we were going to be over eight, ten, twelve, <laughs> right. because I'm sitting here like I could have got me a little incentive for doing this. <laughs> but no harm, no foul, right? So mind you, this is going to be a big risk for us. So if you have not seen our horror story video of our first cruise 11 years ago, please really check did. that out after you see this. And we'll actually put that down in the description field. We are going back to the same destinations that we came from. Nassau, Bahamas <laughs> and Freeport, Bahamas. So you know by this time we having PTSD. It's just not going to be the two of us this time, but it's going to be 30 of us going. So it's like, okay. The people if, that are the closest to right. us. Right. So if if this go wrong, this is going to be a lot of people that's going to be pissed off at us. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it is embarkation day. It's time to go to Norfolk to get on the ship. That's right. Because the same port too, y'all. It's like the duo. Yeah. It's the duo over cruise. So we picked a private transportation um, carrier here in RVA. So here was frustration number one. He told us there was enough space in there for all of us and, and our luggage. luggage. And we told him we are over packers. Right. Well, my family is. I'm, I'm cool. I'm good. Thank God it was only a few of us that was going to be able to get into this party. But I forgot to mention that this was a party bus that we was going in. So we're going we gonna to party from here all the way to Norfolk. Yeah. Man. So we got everything loaded in. Barely, but we barely. did it. And so we get out on the highway and we heard something go, boosh, there they boosh again. Yes. <laughs> and the guy and the driver said, skin. <laughs> and we're sitting there like, <laughs> what? No. What the hell? Again. So we going slower and slower and slower. It's like, oh, hell, we done broke down. We ain't even got out of Richmond yet. Yeah. <laughs> and we're on the side of the And we highway. got over two hours we need to go to get to Norfolk to catch this ship on time. Make a long story short, the party bus was overloaded. Of and it, was. it blew something up that yeah. he had just got fixed. I don't know what it was, but we was panicking because we didn't know that we was going to get a bailout. Right. We just thought, because the queen was like, she started thinking fast. She was like, you know what? We're going to go back to the house. We're going to get everybody's car. This person going to ride with this person. This person going to ride with this I'm person. Quick with and it. we going to Norfolk. And this was before he had said that he was going to get us a bailout. And I want to plug this here for, for those of y'all that are first time cruisers. If you got to drive to the port. Time. Time. We put a four hour window in front of us just in case something went wrong because we had, you know, we were having last time on our last cruise, so we good. So the bailout come, gets us, and we get to Norfolk, and it's time to get on the ship. So like my husband said, we got on the ship. Everything was smooth sailing smooth. from that point on. Listen, the PTSD at that point was, was all the way up here. Right. Like, we were <laughs> like, if it started off wrong, it's going to continue to go wrong. But luckily enough for us, everything went smoothly. Once we got on the ship... We got out. We got in our rooms quickly. We were able to just 
unravel, yep. unpack, have us a totally good time. Totally different experience totally last time. Totally different experience yeah. because we went into it knowing what to expect. We did a little bit of research. We knew the ship. We knew where to go. We knew pretty right. much, you know, the eateries that we wanted to eat at. Right. All that good stuff. So... Because actually at the port, we thought we were going to have to sit in the warehouse again. We was we was yeah. anticipating that. And that yeah. didn't happen. No, we like we <laughs> legit went up, went through security, yep. and basically went right onto the ship. It yep. was no weight at all. Nope. All right, so now this is this is the do over port, right? Nassau, Nassau Bahamas. Bahamas. <laughs> so let me give you a little bit, a bit of backstory. Because we knew that we had to go back to Nassau, I was starting to do research after research after research. And because our group had gotten so big, Carnival could not accommodate us with any of the excursions that they had, even their group excursions. Because one, we have people with a lot of different um, physical mobility issues in right. our group. So we couldn't just say, oh, these ones go here, this one. We didn't want to break up the group. Yeah. So I did some research and I found this girl who said that she uses the same guy in Nassau, Bahamas for like the last eight to 10 years. He takes her around, her and her family, mm -hmm. and shows them a good time, brings her back to the port. She's never had an issue. And I was like, okay, I started deep diving. Yeah. So I'm in your I'm in your profile now because I'm on Facebook. I'm looking and I'm like, this ain't no lie. I see pictures after picture after picture, year after year of you with this guy. So I hit her up on the low low and was like, do you mind sharing his information? She said, absolutely. I got in contact with him. We set up what we wanted to do. You got that backstory? We're in Nassau now. Time to get off the ship. I'm nervous as hell, y'all. Yeah, man. <laughs> because it's all on me, right? Everybody looking at me like, what we got going on? Is this janky? Is this legit? Mind you, a lot of these people are first-time cruisers, too. Yeah, uh -huh. And first-time travelers. Yep. So all of, every <laughs> experience known to man is their first right now. The instructions were, you heard it from the other story, go out the gate. Uh -huh. <laughs> Make a right. I'll be right there. We get out there, make right, and you know, all of them are like, I'll take you here, I'll take you there. No, 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 I got somebody that's get ready to take me. What's his name? I said, Mr. Herbert. That's his real name, mm -hmm. huh? I said, Mr. Herbert is going to take us around. Oh, he laughed. Yeah. We was like, what? I'm... I looked, I said, no, he, he left. didn't. But, but at first, I started panicking, though. I didn't. I, I started panicking because the, what I was thinking was, the last time we was here, <laughs> we didn't have no transportation, so we had to do something janky to, to get, get to where we was going, mm -hmm. and we had our whole family with us. So I'm like, what the hell are we going to do if he don't left us? We got 30 heads with yeah. us. What are we going <laughs> to do? do? Next thing we know, we're walking, and somebody said, no, 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 Mr. Herb is right there. Yeah. And I <laughs> see him, and he has a sign up, and he was like, look at that. And I was like, yeah, like yeah. you should have seen the, yeah. the relief <sighs> like. And he, was, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, I was just getting ready to call you. You know, we was on the ship. He couldn't get in touch with me on the WhatsApp. So we all get to his vehicle. We pile in and let me tell you. Oh, man. He showed us the, the time, time of our, our life. life. We It was like hanging out with your uncle. Now so rock and now so roll. Hey. Now so's got a whole lot of soul. Hey. And he skirts. Maxi skirts, Afro heads too. People are doing their own thing. They're doing me and you. Now so don't funky. Yeah, funky now so. Funky now so. There you have it. There you have it. Also from the Bahamas. Also from the Bahamas. Just got paid. Friday, Friday night, night. Hey. Friday's jumping. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we just vibed and he took us to some great spots that we didn't even really yeah. know too much about. Even though we went to the Bahamas before and even though I did all this research, there were just still some things I just didn't, didn't realize yep. was there. But then that he took us to the rum cake factory, the yeah, original man. rum cake and that factory. that rum cake was good, y'all. It was. He took Ooh. us to Atlantis because everybody has to take a picture in the Atlantis chair. I yeah, mean, you have always to do that. gotta do that. Yeah. <laughs> then he took us to the Queen's staircase, but not only that, he took us to the high tower where, you know, the lighthouse was. We walked up there, saw the canyons that they were protecting the yeah. island with. I mean, it was a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Took us to kind of like a like a straw market. 
took us to John Waltling's um, rum distillery. Yeah, man. Was able to look in the barrel, smell the liquor. I don't think we tasted anything. Nah, we didn't we taste that. Nah. Um, it was too early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we ended it by going to Twin Brothers and Ooh. eating like conch fritters, oh my. conch salad. I had the best <laughs> Miami Vice I ever yeah, had in my life. Listen, after being stressed out like that, I needed it. Right. <laughs> I needed it. Yeah, that food was bomb. We highly recommend it if you in Bahamas to look up Twin Brothers. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. Food is fire. Yeah, at least when we went, it was. Yeah. All right, so the next day, we end up in Freeport, Bahamas. But this time, we did not take the family along with us. We told them, y'all can kind of do what y'all want. Yeah, because it's like everything yeah. is right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so so this time, we did a beach excursion with Carnival. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling y'all, this beach, this beach is was so it was like a nice, nice chill vibe yeah man Everybody so we had was the, good. the water felt good the drinks was good the atmosphere the was, was good bomb. yeah the food was bomb yeah and now uh, we met some people that knew us on youtube there right 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 <laughs> um the bus ride yeah the bus there. the bus ride was hilarious coming back after everybody had got liquored yes. up yes even whole, worse. Whole, whole comedy show. Yeah. Man, who picks on this bus is lit. Like, we legit were like, everybody yeah. hates Freeport. We had the best, best time, time in our life. <laughs> yeah, man, we had the best time. So, after the beach, uh, like Queen said, was coming back on the bus having a great time. And so we had to stop yes. at Senior Frog. Why not? Man, when we saw them cats up on the table dancing, up on the bar oh, dancing. Man, I was like, I wish we could have stayed at Senior Frost a little bit longer, but we only had a short amount of time and because then it stormed. Yeah, then it stormed like crazy. Yeah, again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that didn't deter any of the fun. Matter of nah, fact, the rain made it more fun. We were running back to the ship. No, no, no. You got to talk about our cabin steward. <laughs> oh, so when we get back. Our cabin steward said, "Ha ha ha ha." I saw you. It's like you saw me where? I saw you running in the rain. <laughs> like, how did you see me running in the rain? Never would answer. <laughs> never answer the question. He would never answer. And then he saw me later on walking by myself. And he kept popping out from these random places. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Ha ha, Lynette, I saw <laughs> you and Stanley running in the rain. I saw you. I said, how did you see me? Anas, his name was Anas. So after, so after this cruise, y'all, our family was hooked. We said we were going to add this to our repertoire that we were going to cruise. At least once a year. At least once a year. Because yeah. you mama, and back in the, the other video, we told you that we wasn't going to cruise ever mm -hmm. again. So yeah, I can honestly say that we, we turned this around and out of this, I became a travel agent by mistake. Yeah. Because on embarkation day, we all had matching shirts on and there was another group that had matching shirts on. They assumed that we were with the travel agency and we uh. were not. The travel agent that was over there said, hey, who put on this group? And I was like, I did. And she was like, what agency are you with? And I was like, I'm not an agent. And she said, wait a minute. You're not? I said, no. She said, you need to be because you did all that work mm -hmm. and you're not getting anything from it in the, in the, on the back end. And I said, no. She said, after this cruise, take my card. I want you yep. to reach out to me. I'm going to mentor you through this. I am still her mentee. Yep. We, she has been my mentor since 2019. Yep. So as y'all can see, because we was willing to take the risk the second time, and you can see that this time we actually <laughs> did it correctly, did, did direct research, we had excursions, and that made our cruise 100% better. I'm going to say a thousand times yeah, better. So we, we always urge you, if you don't know what you're doing, when it comes down to booking carnival cruises, please hire Anything. yourself an agent. Or if you don't hire an agent, finally, if you got a family member or a friend that's the best, bounce it off. Yeah, of bounce them. it off of them. Don't wing it. Mm -hmm. Which you don't please don't wing it. And it Just could don't work out for you, yeah. But but it's it's a big risk. It's Most risk. people who wing it have a, a terrible time because you're trying to learn while you're vacationing. You don't want to learn on vacation. You want to have fun on vacation. Hello. So you do all the looking around and finding out stuff while you at home. 
And like again, if you need an agent, my queen is a travel agent. I'm your girl. You can visit our website at cofundtravel.com. Hit us up. We'll get you straight on your next cruise That's or on right. your first cruise. If this is your first Carnival Cruise, check out this video right here where we talk about the 13 mistakes you must avoid on your first Carnival Cruise. And we're going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.